I want to talk about what's so good about streaming. Who would say that they know what streaming is? Some people. So maybe you've heard of it or that. And I thought this was a good thing. Something that I've been very pleased happened. Because really now we have the equipment and the computer power and the network power to do something that wasn't possible before. Have you seen anybody use any of these apps? What's the first one with the N? Netflix. What's the next one? SBS. 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 On, um, um, on demand. What's the green one? Spotify. Spotify. And of course, TGB is written on there, but you need a 2GB app in order to listen to it because our phones can't pick up AM, can they? AM radio, only, only FM if you're lucky. Uh, what's the blue one? Messenger. Facebook. Facebook Messenger. What's the one with the 10 in it? Catch up, yeah, 10 play. Foxtel Go, that's for tablets and things, the cheaper version of Foxtel. Stan, another movie. Thing. What's the one with the K? K-O. It seems to have come from nowhere. Uh, and all, all of a sudden, people say, I, mean, I use this to watch sport. Uh, people that have, even have already have Fox too. Um, the red one with the arrow? YouTube. One of the original streaming things that we could get all these videos all of a sudden. Um, and the one with the notes? iTunes, which isn't, didn't start off really as a streaming thing, but it worked its way into it. The one with the uh, I, 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 ABC, iView, uh, Google Maps. The one with the phone. Viber. It should look purple, but it doesn't yeah. sort of show up like that here. And the NRL, NRL which is has little bits of the games that you can watch. <laughs> so we've got a bit of an idea of these things, and we probably make use of them without really realising. Just looking through the categories of things, well, one thing that gets streamed to you, movies and TV series. I've got Netflix, that's a picture from the Netflix uh, ad, Foxtel Go, Catch Up TV. Anybody watch the uh, SBS one? I think that's the greatest value, even though it's got ads. It's one of the greatest value things, and really quirky adult-like stuff. And documentaries, which I'm really keen on, more quite keen on than, I, than fiction shows. And, and streaming music. I was very pleased with this. We've all through, been through the, you know, we had 78s. And then we had, and then we had singles, and then we had albums, and some of these I've had, you know, and they're all gone now. I don't have anything. CDs, a lot of them too once. And when I came across things like Spotify, which is that's the Spotify promo page, I thought finally at last, at last, I've got something that if I want to listen to a song, I can listen to it. I have to go and buy it. Like, for example, when I I watched it, my granddaughters were in a show, Oliver. And afterwards, I wanted to listen to the music from that on the way home in the car. So I can go to Spotify, and it's got a soundtrack album. I didn't have to pay for it, I could just listen to it. Um, somebody died the other day. I can't, one of the musicians, I can't remember who it was. I was driving from Cars, um, and he, then I could listen to their songs. I didn't have to pay extra for those. And I don't need that pile of CDs that was in these racks that I gave away to everyone and all the records and everything else. Um, and pretty much got rid of all the DVDs too. Not so much clutter. And uh, this is a page about from Snapchat. Their, their main thing isn't, isn't streaming, but they were the people that invented these little movies that disappeared after the second time you watched them and things like that. And people could send, it seemed a strange concept at the time that a photo or a little movie that you made was a throwaway. It's very interesting in the days when photos and things were, were keepsakes. And we search out old photos, but they're not now. 
Uh, a lot of photos are just in the moment things. They're funny when you send it, but you wouldn't keep a collection of these so-called funny things because they're no, no longer all that funny. So Snapchat, that's a Snapchat thing, but uh, Messenger, which is uh, uh, Facebook Messenger, that's become extremely popular and even popular with people that commit streamed uh, murders over in New Zealand <laughs> in the mosques. Um, YouTube is still around. Instagram, another, another movie sharer. It's also owned by Facebook. And this one, what is this? What game is that? Oh, well, there you go. This is something you'll need to know. <laughs> so somebody will mention it to you. There's a game called Fortnite. Oh, yeah. Heard that? Fortnite. Yeah. And it's been played by this fellow in the corner. You can see over the side, over this side. And his name is Ninja. That's his, his game name. And uh, he does this for a living. Plays these games and people watch it. And they watch, they watch him play the game. And those little comments down the side are run at the same time. So all these people are commenting on what he's doing. And he's talking back and things like that. Incredible computer power to do this. The game sent to you, you can send messages, you can do all this stuff. The sort of computer power we once didn't have. And, uh, and he's playing it in this, what's called, what made Fortnite popular was um, this Battle Royale mode. You against everybody, and it was free. Uh, but also, you know, so maps are streaming. You know, you'd be driving along in your car, and, you, and you're, I have, don't have a GPS, so I use Google Maps, and that's streaming from the towers as I go along, and sending me pictures of maps and things like that. And without the internet, you ever tried to use your phone in places without the internet? Because it's GPS, it's got a dot on it. Because it doesn't have the internet, it doesn't know where, where, which map it belongs to. So it knows where you are, but it doesn't know what map it's on. And sport, TV and radio, and the news. All these people from all over the place giving live broadcasts. Hugely popular. Netflix uses 15% of global internet data. That's a lot of data. Spotify's got 60 million subscribers. More than, more than Apple Music. And Facebook has 1.3 billion users. One of, the, one of the larger, small countries. How's it different? Well, it's all about video and audio. When you talk about streaming, you talk about video and audio. And it uses apps over the internet. We used to use aerials to bring in stuff over broadcast. And that was a pretty good system, really. To, Broadcast stuff from over Channel 9 or, or, uh, in uh, North Sydney, and uh, we could pick it out in our house with an, with an aerial, as easy as that. But it wasn't digital. You know? And uh, this uses apps over the internet. The third thing, which is probably the greatest, is it's on demand. You don't have to put up with which show the TV show wants to show you. If you don't like maps, you know what maps is? Married at first sight. Yeah. The most popular show on for a while there. So I'll have to make another one soon to keep those people happy. On demand. So you didn't have to watch that. You could watch anything you want. I had a whole list. You can watch or listen live, live things that are live. You can watch the <clears throat> events that are happening live, like the football. Often subscription based. It's not free to air like, like uh, TV is. TV didn't used to be free, did it? When you had to have a license, you had to pay a license to the government. Imagine that. And each, each radio and each, uh, each television set, you had to pay. But this is subscription based. There are sometimes free ones, and the, the TV catch up ones are free. No media to store or collect can have a collection of this. It's some of them allow you to keep a collection. But you, um, you can't have you can't really have a collection, and you don't need to store these things and have a cupboard for it, you fill it up, and then find have to buy another cupboard and dust them off and all that sort of thing. 
but it's more complex and more expensive. Uh, you know, compared to free to air TV, you've got to get the right equipment, and you've got to pay for an internet service, and you're going to have this and that. So all those little things there, pretty much not so much use. Remember that channel selector. Okay, these are the ones I use because I can't use all of them. <laughs> I can't have an opinion on everything. But I like these ones. We have Netflix. And I've got two users so that it could have high definition and we could watch two things at the same time. If you've only got one, same as with Spotify, if you only have one the single tier, if when my wife was to watch it up, listen to a song on the Apple Home, the, not Apple, the Google Home pod, if I then try to listen on my TV, it says, no, somebody's, somebody's listening to this on another one. You have to pay for two users. And YouTube, always there's always something on there that are, you know, old, old uh, video clips and things like that. ABC, I see, I view tremendous, SBS on demand, tremendous. And because I've got a Telstra account, I can watch the Foxtel games that aren't on uh, free to air TV, which is handy occasionally. I can watch the Panthers uh, go bad in the second half once again. Uh, why, do we, why, do we, <laughs> why do we follow these teams? What do I like about Netflix? No advertising. But if you get the free tier, then there is ads. Only ads for Ads for, um, oh sorry, I'm, 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 I'm thinking of Spotify. No advertising. I hate ads. As soon as those ads come on TV, I'm looking for something else to do. And then I get interested in that, and then I don't come back to it. Even as a, as a teenager, I'd sit out of my room and watch TV. Cheaper than renting and buying things. If it add, you know, if you add it up, I'll probably go one and a half thousand tracks that I bought on uh, Apple, but on iTunes. I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. You got an app for an iPad and an Apple TV gadget. That's what I used to, to watch it. Original quality, quantity, sorry, quality original content. And it's a bit more adult-like, I think. More, more mature audience, new shows all the time, easy to use. You can pause and go back. You know about movies you watch these days? They seem to mumble. Do people mumble in movies or what? And, and what do they mumble? What do they mumble? Key words in the story that you miss and you can't think. And the whole story is sort of keyed on that what that person said at that time. But you can go back a little bit to catch that. You can download things to watch off offline because if you go on a plane trip. You don't know, always have the internet, so you can, uh, you can download them to your iPad and you can take them, take them on, on a plane trip or something like that, or you go into the bush, but you still want to watch TV. <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, and it stores, this, I like that it, it stores and finds things for you. It gives you a list of things that are suggested for you. You may not watch them, but at least you can do that. And it files it for you. You have to put something in it, cover it all, keep it in alphabetical order, or do all these sort of things. It does that for you. Nothing to throw away. Cancel at any time. Most of these are like that. And you don't need a TV aerial. My daughter and my son both don't have TV aerials. They're in a, they're in rented, a rented premises, and the people didn't put an aerial in, so they just use use this sort of stream stuff. What I like about Spotify, there's a free tier, you can, you can watch that. Comprehensive catalogue of songs, most songs. But, and you don't need that much battery or data, which unlike uh, video, it needs a bit of data. And they make playlists for you, certain artists, you can go to that playlist and all that, listen to their stuff. We've got a Google HomePod. And, uh, Anything my wife uses it for is suddenly she'll think of some artist, you know, and you can just say to it, uh, play Simon and Garfunkel. Um, 
just say, I can't do it. I can't do it. We'll place it. Simon and Garfunkel. And place it. He gets it from Spotify. And uh, you can say, you know, okay, Google, 25% volume or 75% volume, 50% volume. You can turn it up and down from that. Very handy. Uh, my son was telling me about a, a young woman who bought, you know, the fashion now is to buy, um, to buy albums, you know, vinyl. And she did buy it. I don't to play her. And then she's asking, well, how do you forward to the next track? <laughs> I love that being able to forward to the next track or skill track. You know? And that sort of thing is, you know, you, you realise you realise there's a reason why we changed over to CDs. <laughs> they are much better. One minute to go. Well, all I'm gonna there's a downside. They're expensive. You may not have a good enough internet, or you may not want to pay for a good enough internet. Sometimes you might want a, want a, a number of services, because <clears throat> Stan's got all the Marvel shows, which my granddaughters love. If, you, you know, if, you've got, if you've already got Netflix, then you have to get two services. You don't own anything to keep. Those people like to keep things in our collection. You won't have that. Delay and get the latest movies. You know, two couple of reasons. Um, there's a certain you know, mood that goes to the theatres, then it goes to pay TV, and it goes like that. And there's also such a thing as what they call geofencing, that certain countries get it first and then they'll allow it into Australia until the latest. And, and yet more screen time. Do we all want more screen time? Now, uh, this is about halfway through this presentation because I only got a short slot this time rather than a long one later on. Anyway, I'll put on the, in, the, in the next week, I'll put on the rest of this that tells you things like, you know, how, what things to use, what speed you need, how to check it, where to get it, how to set the things up, and all that sort of stuff. <coughs> so you'll be able to see that on the ASCA site. Please go and look at it because I put a lot of effort into this site, and, <laughs> and, and I, 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 I'm in tears when nobody can find anything. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.